Hello, so today we're we'll teaching you how to use the online chart tool. It is a great website to make different charts because you can change settings and make it the way you want. So the first step in creating your chart is to click on design your chart. You then choose your type of chart that you want. One of the advantages is that you can choose lots of different types of charts. So I'll be using the bar chart. The next step is to choose the bar setting. So there's vert direction, shape and style. I'm going to be choosing the vertical direction with the shape rectangle and the style would be a background colour of white and my grid colour navy blue. Your appearance can be 2D or 3D. Your legend position can be top, bottom, left or right. I'm just leaving everything else. The next step is to add in your data. So my graph will be monthly, average, daily, sunshine, hours. Uh, my y-axis will be the months. Y-axis will be number of hours. And my source is weather.com, which is where I got my data. The data set settings, will, uh, the number items is the number, how many months I have, so 12. And the groups is one, because I'm only doing one month one state and you can choose the color of your bar the next step is to place in your data as I have here so you put item name will be your different labels for me it would be my month and my value would be my data then you click next the next step is you can choose your f settings for labels and fonts so your data labels, I'm just going to leave them. And for your fonts, you can change different types of fonts. So, yeah. next step is the font color or the font size. Click next. And here you have your graph, and it's available in the small size, medium, or large. And you can also choose to do a full view or print in your graph. The next step is to save and share. So with your chart, you can download your chart as a PNG, a JPEG, a PDF, or a CSV. But you can also save your chart and data online and post it to Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And you can also mail your chart to yourself or to a teacher if you're doing an assignment. So you put your name, the email that you would like to send to, and the email content, and attach image, chart image. I'll be saving it as a JPEG and just open. And that should get you to your chart. Thank you for watching and I hope you learnt a lot.